Nigel, congratulations. With all things considered, was that one of the most satisfying results of the season? It was one of the most important, certainly. Uh, yeah, and, and probably satisfying. Uh, seven defenders out at the start of the, the game. Um, and to keep a clean sheet, I think, with Lucas and, and Jordan in the back four. Uh, tremendous effort by everybody. But I thought our closing down, we were back to what we were all about. Saturday was a one-off. Uh, bad timing to have it at this particular stage of the season but uh, everybody was back on it tonight what ignited those qualities that we saw tonight from start to finish uh, well the, the reaction and the hurt from Saturday where we were all hurting after the game uh, because there wasn't too many good performances on Saturday despite we still should have had something from the game despite the scoreline with the amount of situations uh, we didn't create as many tonight um, but our football was very, very good and brave as well. I thought we kept, we stayed on the ball tonight and kept it and kept probing and got the all-important goal. Yeah, let's speak about that goal by Tom Nichols. Some skill to to head it in the way he did into the net beyond the goalkeeper. Yeah, he knows exactly what he's doing as well because he's that sort of, very good in the air for his size as well. But it looks as though it's going over his head and he just gets off his feet and heads it back across the goalie. And it makes it very difficult then for the goalie scrambling across. You only got the one in the end, but could have had more. Yeah, I thought so first half, certainly. Uh, second half, we had enough situations again. Davis has put one just over the bar, curling it. It's got to go for the bottom corner rather than the top. Uh, and uh, uh, quite a few uh, opportunities to, to put better crosses in, all that sort of thing. And it didn't quite drop for us at times. Um, but then you're always worried at 1-0. And Christie has had to come up with two magnificent saves. Yeah, what do you have to say about that double stop by Pim late in the second half? Well, he's been brilliant all season. And I think it's the most difficult thing for a goalie when you've had nothing to do for 88 minutes or very little to do court set plays uh, tip one away but not an awful lot and then he pr produces two saves like that uh, good goalkeeping in all reality was that the perfect response from Saturday's 4-1 defeat at home to Crawley yeah clean sheet and three points we would have liked another goal or two but <laughs> we keep talking about the strength of the league you know Forest Green is somehow bottom of the league you know, look how good and how much they battled and scrapped tonight. That's how good the league is this season. You really had to dig in to win this one, didn't you? Especially bearing in mind the makeshift defence. Ultimately, you had two forwards there in the in the back four. Yeah, two centre forwards playing in the back four. Uh, Lucas, and you know, after it got over the first five, ten minutes, he then settled in very nicely. Uh, Jordan at centre half probably looks as comfortable there as, as anywhere. Uh, but it was a no mistakes night as well. It was a night where you couldn't make an error. There was a couple of passes which nearly went astray and we got away with it. Uh, but that was the main thing. How crucial was that that goal, getting it relatively early in the game? Yeah, I think it settled everybody down, but we were playing good stuff at that point anyway. Uh, and I thought we were confident on the ball uh, and moving it around. I thought we moved it across the pitch well. They're so well organised, you know, it's difficult then to find those little sort of holes to play through. Uh, it was a great cross by uh, Hiram and one's enough tonight. It must be so heartening for you tonight to come off the pitch and see your men keep a clean sheet because you must have been calling for that for quite some time. Yeah, we've talked about it all season. That was the main thing at the start of the season. We score enough goals, we create enough chances. We've got to stop conceding goals and the, the, the four on Saturday were far too easy. Uh, we still should have had four ourselves with the situations and chances we had. Uh, but put that behind us tonight. Uh, it was a one-off. It's not happened too many times. I think three or four times where we've been that below par uh, as we were on Saturday but you saw the reaction and I think how much everybody was hurting after Saturday uh, the players the intensity the closing down tonight was magnificent and it's a win that propels you back into the top three with four games to go what does that do for you psychologically? Well, it means it's in our hands and it's still in our hands irrespective of what happens at MK on Saturday which is very important you know if the worst thing happens Saturday and we don't get a, a result we can win our last three games uh, you know we're more than capable of doing that uh, just a bit of housekeeping to finish off here. Uh, around about 10 minutes before kickoff, uh, Elliot Hewitt, uh, we were told, was not ultimately on the substitutes list. He was replaced by George Cooper. Could you tell us more? Yeah, he didn't feel too good in terms of physically. He felt terrible yesterday, uh, the 60 minutes that he had on Saturday. That's his first one for 10 months. Uh, and he was really, <laughs> he could hardly walk. Never mind jog yesterday in training. Um, we said just you know, see how you feel in the warm-up. And he came in and he's such a genuine lad. He said, listen, I don't feel brilliant, you know, physically. And the risk of secondary injuries with hamstrings, all that sort of stuff, really after after 10 months, we've got to take care. If the defenders would be fit that we, you know, that are sitting in the treatment room, he wouldn't be even probably in the squad at the moment. Uh, but needs must and we had to put him out there last Saturday. 
And was George Williams not fed enough to, to, to start? No, no, his Achilles was sore after uh, playing the full game on Saturday. That's the thing, you, you know, we couldn't bring everybody off on Saturday. We needed to get some people off for for them to be right tonight and some had to stay on and, and George's Achilles was very sore after Saturday and he could only do the 10 minutes he did tonight. So just for clarity, or is it seven defenders you've got out? It is, yeah. You want to count the two Callums, Callum McDonald, uh, Callum Johnson, Alfie Kilgore, Bailey Cargill, uh, Brunty and the two that couldn't start tonight. I think that's seven, isn't it? Yeah. I'll take your arithmetic, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Any club in the country, I'm telling you, you, you lose three or four, you lose seven at this stage of the season it's uh, devastating honestly it's devastating and despite that we've managed to keep a clean sheet tonight and are you going to have to go to MK Dons with the same 18? yeah uh, or George Cooper 19 you know we'll see how Elliot is but yeah there'll be uh, I don't think there'll be anybody back in time for them and you head to MK Dons with the backing of a no doubt a raucous but certainly large Stags faithful. Over 3,000 will be making the journey. It's got all the ingredients of a real cracker. Yeah, if we'd have picked up a couple of results uh, in the last couple of weeks, it would have, I think people are hoping it would have more significance. Uh, but it looks as though it's going to go to the wire. Saturday is going to be as important as any game. Uh, and we'll do our best to, to get a positive result. Thank you. Okay.